So you may be wondering, where is the Starlight deck? Well, Barry's wondering the same thing. I thought I just heard a scream. It seems to be coming from the east. So he's already told us we want to go east. And if we look at our map, well, we're where it's green, we want to go where it's red. So we gotta sneak our way around all these zombies, while also keeping our eyes open for any goodies. And this zombie has a goodie. A little close, but that's alright. Okay, more handgun bullets. And we're doing pretty good on ammo. 68 shots, 40 shotgun shells, but these numbers will go down quickly if you're not careful. Now we should be rushing to rescue Lucia, but we are going to check this area out for any goodies. I know we've found one set of armor. There might be another. So right now the zombies are averaging about three shots to take out. And what do you have? So we have 60 shots, and no, you have a yellow herb. I was hoping you might have ammo, so that way we could see exactly how much we're picking up. Uh, we snuck up on her, so she has to even turn around to even get to approach us. Alright, 57. 57 becomes... 69, so we get 12. Alright, this key is usually an access to the bar room on the fourth floor. So we need that key to even continue uh, going to the east. But I believe that's everything. There's that scream again. This time I know it's Lucia. She must be really close. So let's use our key. And get into the bar. Okay, zombie with a crowbar right in front of us. Now there's a crowbar zombie. Ooh, you have something. Alright, 12 more shots, but of course you can move. Okay, this is sort of a elevator hallway, but we can sneak around to the sides here and find more stuff. No, nothing over here. Should have known better. But there is stuff up here. But to get at it, we have to deal with a lot of zombies. I'm gonna try to take them out sort of slowly, one at a time. Come here, you. No, don't, don't walk away. I'm talking to you. Now, the zombie sprite work for the combat scenes is 
really nice. But just from the way I'm playing it, we don't really get the chance to get a good look at it and enjoy it. Okay, more shotgun shells. Alright, medium strength armor. This is titanium. So we're just going to switch. And the Kevlar is still available if we get another character. Now, yeah, it doesn't look like we even have the key to open these elevators. I can hear Lucia. She's on the other side of this door. So let's get prepared. There she is. Barry reaches the sun deck. From the edge of the shadows, he can see something hideous and large chasing Lucia. Help me! Keep it away from me. Oh, keep it away from me. Hmm, if it's the bow, this is my lucky day. Alright, we get a look at our first... Well, really our only boss enemy of the game. And it should look like other tyrants, but then it does that. Sweet mother of... I spoke too soon. Ah, get it off me! Alright, boss fight time. Now this guy is pretty much the same as any other boss, but you may notice we now have Lucia down there as an option. Okay, we took him out pretty quick. The bow dissolves into an amoeba-like form. It disappears rapidly into the shadows. That thing just vanished. I'm glad it has finally gone. It was horrible. Are you hurt? Let me see your arm. Hmm? What the? Not a scratch. Could have sworn he'd hurt you. I, I was lucky, wasn't I? Uh, yeah, I guess you were. Let's not push that luck, okay? Stay close. That thing might still be around. No, he's gone. What makes you so sure of that? I don't know. I just feel it. All right. What is it? Is something wrong? No, nothing. Come on, let's go find Leon. So we now have a second player in our party. We have Lucia. Now Lucia uses her own items and her own equipment. Like, for example, I don't think she can use the shotgun. That might be too heavy duty for her. Nope, she's fine. But for example, she's using the shotgun, Barry's using the pistol. So we can switch between the two of them on the fly to use that weapon. But Lucia is going to come across some equipment she can't use. But Barry is still the leader of the party at the moment. So we're going to keep him with the pistol and let him run around. We got this new area of the deck, so we're going to explore it. And that was our first boss. I don't remember if that boss has a, a special name or anything, but it kind of looks like a tyrant bow. But it has, um, I guess, tentacles coming out of his abdomen. I don't know if that's supposed to be like organs or something. But that critter is going to show up a few times during the course of the game. Okay. So I can switch between Barry and Lucia with, I guess, is this the A button or the B button? I gotta look down the check sometimes. So right now, Lucia's got the knife. And that is an option. What you could do is, you know, attack with the uh, long range or longer range weapons. And then when they get close, switch to another character to use a shorter range weapon. But some of them can take more abuse than others. This key is used to operate a set of elevators in the center of the ship. Alright, I really want to get past you guys.
Of course you stand back up. Why wouldn't you? Oh, she's right on top of us. I think she just poisoned Barry. Now, Lucia is active, so she'll be the one taking damage. Yep. Alright, Barry, let's heal ya. Was it even worth it? Not really, because we don't have the grenade gun. But let's try to remember that there is ammunition for the grenade gun over here. And a new save point. Barry, do you copy? Barry, do you copy? Over. Copy. Over. I thought we'd lost you. What's going on out there? I found a survivor, and I'm pretty certain I've located the battle. It took everything I threw at it, but then vanished. I'm unlucky about the battle. However, we have news on Leon. We have unscrambled Leon's last message. We believe he is somewhere in the first class cabin area. Thanks for the update. Over and out. Why don't we take the lift down? It would be a lot quicker. And these are the lifts. And we just got the key for them. There are four of them, and they only go down. And if I don't check them out, they will stay forever darkened on my map. Hmm, looks like the door to the first class is locked. If it helps, I have a key to the second class. Okay, let's go to the second class and give that a try instead. We may find something of use there. So yeah, we want to go... Well, right now we want to go to the left, over to the, the second class cabins. But the first class cabins are here to our right. Oh, that was a good shot. Now, overall, I think we're doing pretty good on ammo. We used a couple of stronger healing items than I would have liked. But I think we're going to be okay. Now, what have you got? Alright, purple herbs. So here is the second class cabins. And we're gonna go up and around this way. I think this will work out the best for us. Come on, you. Nothing in there, but you have something. Oh, I saw I saw somebody trying to sneak up behind us. Alright, Lucia. Yeah, I see you over there. Alright, they both want to be in on this. Now if I get the timing good, we could have, you know, hit one on each side.
You do not have the assault rifle. You cannot collect this ammunition. All right, so we know next, an assault rifle. Now, assault rifle is, of course, not the right term, but at least for the video games, it, it's fine. Is it in here or is it in another area? And like any good survival horror game, you know, there's going to be a lot of exploration. The exploration will not always pay off, though. I don't remember all the good rooms and the not-so-good rooms off the top of my head, but I will try to show you as much of the game as possible. This guy, this guy we took out before he could even turn all the way around. Now, we haven't gotten there yet. But I did mention that there are instances of respawning zombies. And we're going to get there pretty soon. So for example, we just took out a zombie in this room. If we go back in, that zombie will still be gone. The respawning zombies I'm talking about, well, as soon as you go off screen and then go back onto that screen, well, guess what? They're back. There aren't a lot of instances of that, but it's still one of those things that I think is a big no-no. Alright, more Kevlar. But Barry's wearing something better, and Lucia is wearing that. You have something. More handgun bullets. We will take what we can get. And we get some Simtech, a highly ex a highly dangerous plastic explosive. This can be used for a variety of purposes. It might be able to blast open the door to the captain's room on the third floor. Well, we happen to be on the third floor. No, it doesn't seem like there's any goodies in here. Try to sneak by that one. Alright, yellow herb. And look at you. Look at you come running. Alright. That one was crawling, so that's why it's back up. Alright, that was good. Two shots took it out. A good set of lockpicking tools. These may be useful for a lock without a key. Well, we don't have the master of unlocking with us, but Barry's close enough.
Oh, well, this could be a problem. Got two crowbar zombies. We were able to take out the one. Alright, not bad. And it was all for nothing. Now we've got a complete circle around the area. We found two locked doors. We found two ways to open locked doors. So let's go see which one works where. Now, now, theoretically, when you have high-powered plastic explosives, there should be no such thing as a locked door. Nope. Nope. Hello. You were wait waiting, waiting, just waiting right there for us. All right, this key is used to gain access to one of the second class cabins on the third floor. But in here is a fully automatic long burst weapon. It is slightly tricky to aim, but can deliver reasonable damage. So there's our, what did it say, fully automatic rifle? And here's ammunition for it. Now, for whatever reason, we've been really lucky. I have not used up a lot of ammo. So our, our handgun is still good. Our shotgun is really good and our rifle is really good. So we got the key to the first class area. Let's go save Leon. Now we have the first class cabin key. We can go look for Leon. Great, I'll follow you there. And save point at number four. So we're gonna loop all the way back around to save point one. <laughs> 